Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna have a very close look at the 4570 and we're gonna head right into the video. So here we have the Coachmate Lever 4570. This is a pretty awesome gun, so I hear. So we're gonna take it out in Yukon and we're gonna shoot just about everything on the map. So let's have a look at the stats for this rifle. So it has accuracy of 55, reload of 57, recoil of 64 and 67 for hip shot. And then we do have two different types of ammo. So we have the hollow point bullets. Ignore the effective range there, that is broken right now, but it is good up to 150 meters. And then we have the 4570 soft point flat nose bullets, and those are the ones we're gonna use today. They also have an effective range of 150 meters, but they have an expansion of only six and a penetration of 40 as opposed to 20. So, those are the ones that we are going to use. Then we have the Helios 4 8x32 rifle scope, and that is the one that you want. So the rifle scope is going to run you 24,000. The rifle, the 4570, costs 48,000, and 10 bullets cost 660. So to buy the whole set with 100 bullets, it's going to run you 78,600. So that is the price tag. So let's find out if it is worth it or not. I am loving this scope. It is very similar to the muzzleloader scope. So I'm zeroed for 150. Let's take a shot on this level three and we're about 150 away. Should have been good. That should have been a good shot and he's gone aggressive. He is giving us delivery. Let's see if we can't put another one in him just to make sure he is dropping in health. So they don't drop in health immediately with the 4570. It does take a little bit longer for that quick kill. And we got another one into him. So he is definitely going to be dead any second. So the 4570 carries three shots. It does reload very quickly. And that guy is a gold and we actually got two vital shots on him, which is pretty awesome. So, so far so good. And we took that shot from 150 meters and he was 145 out, so. All right, let's try and take down some more bison. There are so many females just everywhere. But this might be a great little gun to take out and grind for bison for cash. Just lay waste to them. Get to about 150 meters away and just unload. And they don't rush away. They're in no hurry to flee. They're pretty easy to shoot. Now, the only downfall with having three shots is you are reloading quite a bit. It would be a little nicer if we had four or five shots, but what are you gonna do? So that is, that is a negative of this rifle. And down he goes. All right, let's have a look at this guy. So, sorry, this girl. So that was a left lung shot, 131 meters. There isn't a huge amount of penetration, but enough to get the job done. And that was a level four. That shot was too high, so I got vertebrae. So it was not a vital shot, but still killed it. So I'm looking forward to taking this 4570 and going wolf hunting. And that's what we're gonna do in a minute. Probably my favorite thing to do in Yukon is hunt, hunt the gray wolves. I mean, they are so much fun to hunt. I can't get enough of that. And so great for cash. So we're gonna get to about 150 meters. So yeah, not huge penetration, single lung. Actually, that was liver, my apologies, but uh, that was a vital shot. All right, sweet, we have a caribou here. Let's see how it does with this guy. And we got two, sweet. Kind of nice that I can shoot a caribou and then turn and shoot a bison with the same gun and get integrity with both. And with the 4570, you can do that because it does go up to class nine. So that is a really nice benefit of this, of this awesome gun. I'm liking it. I'm enjoying this gun. So far, so good. It's pretty powerful. Makes an awesome sound. And uh, I think I'm going to use it quite a bit. And we got single lung there on this caribou from 138 meters. 
and we also got this bison and that was a left long shot from 117. And if you look at that, the 4570 penetrated the scapula there and got a lung. So it's a pretty powerful gun, so it is gonna do the job, but we'll take a second here and give our Poochie a love. So we are here at the Hirschfelden firing range and if you do get here and it's boarded up, you just have to rediscover it and you'll be good to go. So then you just come in here and pick how far you want to target shoot your distance from. So we chose 150 meters because that is our maximum for zeroing with the 4570. So then you just go down here to aisle three. That's for 150 meters and you can just fire away. Oh, bullseye, sweet. Being here at the firing range. Take one more shot, almost. You have unlimited ammo, which is really nice. You don't have to pay for any ammo. So basically you are shooting, you wanna aim right where those lines meet, right on the money. So we're gonna reset this here and let's do some shots from 200 meters. Let's try that. I really feel like this firing range is very underused, but anytime you get a new weapon of any kind, you really should take it to the firing range and get really comfortable with it. Now, if you need closer distances, ooh, not too bad. You can go to Parque Fernando. So we are taking some shots here. Ooh, very close from 200 meters. So I am aiming right at the top of the black and that is just about giving me a perfect shot. So you can still shoot animals from 200 meters with the 4570. You just have to aim above them just a bit. But by coming here and practicing, you'll get a better idea of exactly where to aim when you have further away animals. So <laughs> we're gonna take some shots from 250. Might be a little far with the 4570. Bullseye, look at that. Sweet, perfect shot. All right, feeling a little bit more comfortable with this gun. I think it is time that we went out and found ourselves some gray wolves. Let's go. And this is where you'll find the firing range in Hirschfelden in the bottom right hand corner of the map and you can fast travel there once it's discovered. Yay, <laughs> time to take on the gray wolves. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna try and get to about 150 meters from these guys. And uh, let's see how the 4570 stands up to the gray wolves. So the closer I get, of course, can't see them. They're disappearing out of my sight. I'm gonna get a tiny bit closer. Now it is smart to turn your light off at night if you are not using the night vision scope. I'm not a fan of it, so I'm not using it. So you see the difference when I turn my flashlight off, I can see them a bit better at this uh, proximity. And I think we're just gonna start. And it starts to drop out pretty quick. And here they come. Here they come. They're coming for me. Oh, he just dropped. That must've been a hard shot. And quickly we're out of bullets, so. But you know what? It does reload pretty quickly. Ooh. Get him. <laughs> He's so close I couldn't even see. I don't even think I got a vital shot there. Come on. <laughs> I almost shot my dog. And just like that, they're gone. All right, here we have a level six gold. Sweet. Uh, left lung and liver. 94.79 meters. And... That is a level three and that was a heart shot. That was a pretty sweet shot from only 30.67 meters. So it penetrates the heart, goes right in and grabs a lung. So it definitely has enough power, especially at close range. This is an awesome gun. I'm loving the 4570. I am definitely gonna be using it a lot more. And we created a little bit of hunting pressure there. Let's go find some more. So we have a Lone Ranger out here, just a level six. Now, I think he's about 200 meters out. Let's see if we can get him. So I just aimed above his body and yep, we got a vital. He is definitely dropping in health. So I'll be interested to see how far away that guy was. So he was 208 meters. 
Sweet. And that was a liver and a right lung shot. He was turning. That was like a perfect shot. So yeah, you can use this gun up to 200 meters and beyond. You just have to get used to where to aim. And that's just by practicing. So we're going to take on one more group of wolves. I love wolf hunting. So if you guys do want to come out and slay some gray wolves, they drink from midnight until 3 or 3.30 here in Yukon. And they are a lot of fun to hunt. Now, if you would like to see a hotspot guide, I will put the link to my Yukon guide right here on the screen. Definitely check that out for your hotspots for gray wolves and everything else in Yukon. And they're coming for me! <laughs> Uh-oh. Now I find sometimes I wait for them to get to me, but often they spook on their way over, so it's better just to start shooting at them before they get there, just in case they just don't arrive. And something is trying to kill me. What is happening? Oh, hello! So when they come up close, you want to shoot as fast as you possibly can. Now, if I were to get a little deeper into the water, it would protect me from the wolves. But we did get that guy. And that one too. So that was a five meter shot. Left lung and liver. And this guy's floating left lung on that guy. <laughs> Another five and a half meter shot. Yeah, 4570 does great on aggressive wolves. And that was a heart shot. Look at that. 155 meter heart shot. Heart shot and double lung on a level seven. Not too bad. <coughs> I like having the dog with me. That's why I'm still hunting with them, despite the tent issues. If you do travel to an outpost before you leave the map, you won't lose any tents. You shouldn't. <laughs> so I am, I'm trying to keep my dog with me. But yeah, the 4570 did amazing on these gray wolves. All right, we have a bull moose here. Level three goes up to 183. We are going to try out the 4570 on him. See if we can't maybe get a heart shot. Oh, he dead. He very dead. So yeah, this was one of my very first times taking out the Coachmate Lever Action 4570, and it is a great little rifle. I highly recommend that you take it out for a spin. Has a great scope. It's good for class four to nine, which is amazing, and it has adequate penetration. It definitely will get the job done, but that is definitely gonna wrap it up for this one. I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you'd like to join us for more, that would be amazing. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys in the next one. If you'd like to see amazing hotspot videos, definitely click on these wear and wed guides. Take care guys.